Here it is. Ah, proper bronze or lock. This one won't break like the other piece of crap. back at the boat. It's a matter of getting to the boat. Looks like the tide is against us. Yeah, or just about to turn. I'm gonna go try to figure out if we can jury rig a way to keep the oar in place. I have spare oar locks back at the boat. It's a matter of getting to the boat. They're metal oar locks. It just, it just broke right in half. If I was by myself and you weren't there to row the other oar, who knows? So I'm gonna take this string that was holding our baler in place. And I put a knot in it like that. Yeah. And uh, I take the other two, put it in from the underside, through the hole, out like that, and just do a square knot. I can't believe in the entire island of Manhattan, with how many millions of people, there are no oar locks. An island, it's surrounded by water. I will be right back. Don't lose your oar. Roll back to Why don't you leave your backpack with me in case things go badly? Probably a good idea. God, that's, that's not cool. Is that like a power line? It's great. So it has to go from there. Over to Paragon, over there. There's no current against him, so that's awesome. So he just has to kind of worry about the waves, which are actually not as bad as they were this morning. Isn't that what it's all about? Jerry rigging things when they don't work. Woohoo! Okay, made it. Thank God. The spares locker, and you have to have it. Uh, it's in one of these bags. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, okay, I got one of these. This is kind of cool. I get to see what everyone else sees when they look out from the park as they're jogging or riding by or sitting on the bench. There it is. Ah, proper bronze or a lock. This one won't break like the other piece of crap. It's a really beautiful park. There are people riding their bikes home from work. There are people all dressed up in spandex racing out here. People up there walking their dogs, joggers. And we're anchored far enough off that it actually feels very secluded. You know, we have this little buffer, a moat, if you will, that allows us to kind of see the city and be a part of it and row to shore and get all of the excitement, but at night we can kind of go out there and we're separate. And we have our home, which is always nice. I got the oar lock! Good! Awesome. We got the oar lock. I wonder if we should have an extra oar lock always maybe taped under the seat. Alright, looks like we're up and running. Thanks. Hi. Hi. I'm gonna go to Eldridge. Awesome. This is the entrance to the boat base in Marina. Have a little doorbell there. You just ring it 24 hours a day. There's someone there that allows you in. Liverboards live here, although I haven't really seen anyone. Man, these boats are just getting rocked. 
Like the ones behind the breakwater are a little bit better, but like, <laughs> that would just be awful to be on that boat. It's tipping over so violently. So I actually think it's just infinitely better to be first at anchor, second mooring ball because you're really able to move with the water and with the wind and with the current. Hello, Mr. Triumphant. Hey. What took you so long? I just talked to the head dock master, like not the one from before, but uh, a different one. And he has requested that we raise anchor and anchor on the other side of the marina complex because they're going to be putting mooring balls out there and uh, but he doesn't know when. I don't know. Sounds like he just wants me to move over there. I don't know, both anchored on the other side. No, tomorrow, or whenever the winds, you know, aren't crazy. Now we have a nice, strong bronze oarlock to replace the one that broke, and then we have a, another spare plastic one just sitting in the dinghy. Great, well, what do you want to do now? I'm so proud of you. Aww. I think we should have a celebratory cocktail. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. Let's go to that two-for-one place. <laughs>